Why are there frogs in the river Styx? And why don't they say ribbit, ribbit? In 405 BCE, the Greek playwright Aristophanes won first prize for his play Frogs. In this play, the god Dionysus goes down to the underworld because he wants to bring back the playwright Euripides. But then Euripides and Aeschylus have a competition and he chooses Aeschylus instead. It was adapted into a Sondheim musical in the 1970s where Aeschylus and Euripides are replaced by Shakespeare and George Bernard Shaw. The chorus of this play are the frogs that live in the River Styx. The River Styx is the river that you have to cross to get to the underworld and Sharon the ferryman will ferry you across the river. And Greek plays always had a chorus, a group of actors singing and saying verses in between the action, just like the muses in Disney's film Hercules. So, in this play... The chorus are the frogs that live in the river Styx. But instead of saying ribbit, ribbit, they say brick a kicks quacks, quacks, brick a kicks quacks, quacks. This is because there's actually only one frog in the world that says ribbit, ribbit. It's the Pacific tree frog and it lives on the west coast of the United States of America. Most other frogs make a whole variety of different sounds, anything from eh to ow to ah. And apparently, the frogs that lived in the rivers of ancient Greece went brick a kicks, quacks, quacks. <laughs>